Alright, welcome back everybody. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, so today I think what we're going to do is we're going to check out uh, some of the, uh, the news in the Pew News. So let's see what PewDiePie is doing today in the Pew News. Alright, the unthinkable happened in Minecraft. Okay, we found the crazies, the craziest nether in Minecraft. 100 million subscribers, Ooh, almost there, look at this, 99 million subscribers, almost as many as Jigga Vinga, so close, the tie, I am Fox in Minecraft, only Minecraft, I found PewDiePie Boss in Minecraft, we made amazing progress, Mi Minecraft, 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 Mi okay, Seems like all the boy does now is play Minecraft. Where are we going to get our source for the news now? I'm Popeye Winslow. Filling in today for PewDiePie in the Pooh News. Let's see what we have today in the news in today's adult fails. Starting with Mr. Trudeau. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to the daily oopsies. Whoopsie doodles. Today we have Mr. Chris Frito. I thought, that, I, thought, I thought that's who you were. Oh, no, punk ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. Oh, I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh, you're much Fredo is from the Godfather. He was a weak brother. Isn't that your And they use it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? Oh, Are you Italian? I got, I got a it's a fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. Is that, is that a cool fucking thing? So, to Chris Cuomo, a.k.a. Chris Frito, to him, being called Fredo is the same thing as calling a black person the N-word. Do we have... Anybody that can back that up. Oh, how the oppression of thy Italian people. You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, then we'll fucking play. If you've got something you want to say about what I do on television, then say it, but I'm going to fall me. Hey, man, hey, listen. What? I don't want any problems. Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking problem. What's the problem? It's a little different on TV. Don't fucking insult me like that. I didn't insult you. The fuck you call me Fredo? It's like I call you punk bitch. You like that? You want that to be your nickname? I didn't call you that. You called me Fredo. You know my name's not fucking Fredo. I thought your name was. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. You want to be a man? Stand up like a man. I'm standing up, man. You want to be a man up yeah, here? Then fucking own it. Then own what listen, you said. Man. Hey. Then own what you said. Listen, listen man. I don't have a problem with you, man. You're going to have a fucking problem. Ooh, what are you going to talk about? I'll fucking Chris, ruin your shit. Then. I'll Chris, fucking throw you down these stairs like a fucking punk. Please do. Why? So you can fucking sue? So you can fucking sue? Why don't you do that? You go take a swing. Call me Fredo. Take a fucking swing. Take a fucking swing. Watch your fucking hands. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. Come on, come on, boy. Come on, boy. So you want to call me shit? Call me shit, then. Hey, listen, man. I'm not fucking here. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. You didn't actually you didn't know, know what you were doing when I you thought it was Fredo? your name, man. Break it up now. I thought it was your name. You didn't Break know, up. right? Break hey, you didn't know what you were saying, right? I thought it was his you name. Your name. I'm, I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. This is my guy. Hey, hey, look at all these cameras. I think this guy's seen. You're in for it. You're in for it. I'm in for what? You call me fucking Fredo? You're in for it. You call me Fredo? I think two more seconds of that and Chris Cuomo would have went full retard and try to punch the guy out and then the bigger guy would have flattened him. So for context, who was this guy being compared to? So this is the real Fredo that he was referring to. I can handle to. things, I'm smart! Not like everybody says! Like dumb, I'm smart and I want respect! I can handle things, I'm smart! Not like everybody says! Like dumb, I'm smart, and I you want to see, respect. This is a very big insult because this is a great actor, and everyone's comparing Steve, uh, Chris Cuomo, to him. This is not right. So, other news that happened this week: Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Silverman has been cancelled. <gasps> but why? 
She was a upstanding liberal citizen. She could do no wrong. She was a whamens. She was respect. So what could has happened? Sarah Silverman is cancelled. The actress and comedian told Bill Simons that she was recently fired from a movie after a picture surfaced from a 2007 episode of Sarah Silverman's show in which she wore blackface. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, how the mighty have fallen! Sarah Silverman acknowledged that it was wrong. The costuming choice was part of a sketch in which she and a scene partner sought to explore the complexities of racial identity by com comedically probing whether or not it was harder to be black or Jewish. Because they are both a same, but it did not end well with it did not sit well with her after the fact and she said that she will spend the rest of her life trying to make it right mm. very doubtful very doubtful I very much doubt that she sat day in and day out thinking about this injustice this horrible thing that she has done And this is what she looks at herself in the mirror. And then, of course, she laughs. Because, let's be honest, she definitely found it funny during the time. Oh, and who is this convincing-looking black dude? Why, is this another lip-tard celebrity? Jimmy Kimmel? And where is... His throwing un up under the bus? I'm sure we're going to be hearing things uh, soon enough. Because let's, I'll be honest, we know how the libtards love to cannibalize each other. And this was one of uh, the older pictures of Ted Danson. Uh, I think he is also the father of Jimmy Kimmel and the father of Sarah Silver Woman. Uh, Sarah Silver Black Woman, sorry. Sarah Black Woman. That's Sarah Black Woman. <laughs> oh my god. And keep in mind, these are the type of people that want everyone to be held accountable for everything except when it comes to their past transgressions. Pew 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 pew! Jigga news! Jigga news! <laughs> Alright, then uh, let's end it off with the absolutely Fucktarded of the fucktards, the social democratic convention, and why are they so fucktardedly fucktarded? Because they decided to show this clip on their actual, very real YouTube channel. Let's watch and cry. Uh, quick point of privilege. Quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Quick point. Of privilege. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just... Mm -hmm. he, he, him. Those are his pronouns. Okay, you know what, guys? Going forward, uh, I, uh, I'm coming out of the closet. Uh, I do have uh, preferred pronouns that I demand you all obey me, or so help me God, you will be persecuted to the full extent of the social... From here on, I will be addressed as either Titan or Magnus. Do you think this is okay? I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just... I know it's we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? Oh, it's affecting Lord, my ability dude. to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, okay is there a speaker again? To, to draw up some attention in case a personal you guys it before that, this person starts. So let's back up the dump truck a little bit. 
first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I. No, no, I went too far. All right, so. So I want uh, to pay person, attention. Yes. yes um, guys, guys uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the, the chatter the to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone yeah, yeah, to no. sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Dude, you are a freaking adult. Deal with it. You are in a crowded room with presumably 150 people. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, point chapter, pronoun? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Please do not use gendered language to address everyone because I personally identify with a particular pronoun Everybody has to be gender neutral and be a nothing, just like a bee, Mario. Okay. Quick point of privilege once again. Quick point of privilege once again. If you guys recognize his voice, that is the first person that got up. Sorry, the first guy, the first male, the first he, him, he, ha, he, ha. So, this guy is going to lose his shit. Hi, James Jackson, Sacramento DSA, he, him, I have already asked... Again, he's got to acknowledge his pronouns, because everybody must obey, just like everybody must obey the titan magnanimous. I have already asked people to be mindful of the chatter of their comrades who... Yeah, goddamn, he's already fucking told you guys! Why are you not fucking listening to him? Do you not respect are sensitive to sensory overload and that goes double for the heckling and the hissing it is also triggering to my anxiety like comrade, so doesn't ju isn't just for like you know let's keep things civil or whatever it's so that people aren't gonna get triggered and so that it doesn't affect so people don't get triggered like i'm getting triggered because you're not obeying me i am an adult god damn it acting like a 10 year old performance as a delegate okay your need to express yourself is important but your need to express yourself should not trump or over oh, trump, like trump, i see trump, that trump. no one's clapping for me it could be because i'm not engaging but it also is because everyone's doing this and that's and what he's signaling is that everyone's doing jazz hands because <laughs> woo! Woo, yeah, woo! is far too aggressive so everyone's got to be gentle Oh, oh, I, I can't remember, I can't whisper, I can't, I, can't do, I can't do anything because we are in a society of silence. Silence. Silence of the violence. Really important because those loud bursts. Oh, that's of actually what it is. It is actually the silence of violence. The silence of the violence. Noise, even though this is a noisy space, but we can do something like reducing that that's really important. So please don't clap, shoot up these. We oh, have a shoot, lot of disabled comrades, oh, that's and uh, that's a lot of those are invisible disabilities. You don't know who it is uh, that is having a more difficult time navigating this space, and this space right. was not created with all of their needs adventurer. in mind. So it's up to us to modify that space to make going? sure that uh, everybody is able to move in the ways that they need to move. Um, and, and additionally with the um, the noise issue, like avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? Um, because those there's, there's all sorts of things. If you don't know what to do, show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways. Avoid any signs of individuality. Avoid any signs of being your own person. We are no longer adults. <laughs> that we can communicate to each other without needing to rely on something uh, that's going to hurt somebody else. We have quiet rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? Please don't go in that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent, room. for you instance, right? Because we don't want to put people room. in stressful situations that they don't consent to, right? And we, there are um, right-wing infiltrators who are trying to get in here, but it's going to be really traumatic for people if we're not making an affirmative es uh, effort. Again, again, this these are the clips that they personally decided to highlight and showcase as their welcoming video to their fucktarded 
YouTube channel. To de-escalate each other and de-escalate ourselves, right? Take a deep breath. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I feel better before you say anything. Don't really talk to anybody who listen, doesn't listen. have a creden credential, especially if you claim to be from the press. You have no idea who that person is. Please do not talk to anybody who identifies themselves as a member of the press without having uh, credentials. Um, what about what about the toxic men like myself? You know, men that have confidence, men that are individual, men that are on their own, people, men that are laughing at your faces because you guys are all children. Don't talk to cops. Don't talk to MAGA assholes. I am a MAGA asshole. Come talk to me. Oh, we're almost there. This, uh, this, but. You see, you see how he had to wrangle everybody because everyone started getting a little bit rowdy. Everybody started getting a little bit rowdy. Woo! This, uh, this, but thank you, assholes. Oh, we're almost there. Just yeah, can't get excited. Uh, this, but can't thank get excited. you. Um, we are going to be visited tomorrow um, drink by some milk? MAGA protesters. Um, is there anybody here who's done abortion clinic escort work? By all means, don't talk to cops if there are cops there for any reason at all, oh, right? Um, and if you do see someone talking to cops, uh, let the marshals know. Um, we are we are safe and we are strong because there's power in collective uh, in collective work. Right here, right here. All right, and I just want to watch the the last one. All right, so the last piece of jigger news. <laughs> Is yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna set, I'm not gonna tell you what this one is. You guys just have to watch it. It's Infested. beautiful. That word is a particularly loaded one coming from this president. A word he sure likes to use when he is attacking people the of color. You remember his racist attack on those four Congress women, tweeting that they should go back to the quote crime infested places from which they came. The president's comments didn't sit particularly well with this weekend anchor on CNN who tried his best to get nominated. And of course, I'm going to be sharing this video with my favorite, my, my favorite co-host, anchorman, Mark Dice. Nominated for an Oscar. Infested, he says. The president says about Congressman Cummings' district. that no human would want to live there. You know who did, Mr. President? I did. And the day I was brought home from the hospital to the day I left for college. Preaching sister, preaching sister. And a lot of people I care about still do. There are challenges, no doubt. But people are proud that's of right. their community. I, love that. I don't right. want to sound self-righteous. <laughs> but people get up and go to work there. They care for their families there. They love their children oh, who pledge allegiance to the Cry flag, just like people who live in districts of congressmen who support you, sir. They are Americans, too. <laughs> we'll be right back. Of course, none of the Democrats or their mouthpieces and the mainstream media got upset when Bernie Sanders, back in the last presidential campaign, said that... Oh, dear Lord. Look, I, I am... I'm not... I'm not knocking where those people live. I am just knocking the overly sensitive man that has been. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot stand watching pandering. When tears are tears, there's no problem. As you can see, I openly cried on camera on national news. <laughs> so I hope you guys all enjoyed Jigga Vigga news. Let me know what you guys thought below, and if you guys think I should do another video like this, you know what, I think, if at all, I am still going to do another video like this. If you smell... Oh, that's not my channel. <laughs> Subscribe, guys. Jigga Vigga.